My personal involvement with breast cancer started about uh, 20 years ago when several of my friends were got breast cancer. And now I'm lucky to be uh, part of an administration that, as Kathleen mentioned, um, is working hard to ensure affordable and accessible health care that makes mammograms here available to many, many women. And that's, you know, that's a big change. Well, what we know about breast cancer is that early detection is really a critical component of long survival. Having mammograms available to women without co-pays or co-insurance is a big step. Jennifer and I are here today because we think getting the word out to women about uh, self-examinations and, and annual mammograms at an age-appropriate time for women is a really important message, life-saving message. Greater access is obviously hugely important. Um, we physicians see it all the time and struggle with it. Patients who have pre-existing conditions who weren't able to get insurance and it's, it's heartbreaking trying to get these patients the health care they need. The challenge of educating and reaching out is still something that we want to focus on and continue to do, especially reaching people where they are as opposed to expecting them to come to a medical facility. The care coordination at a center like here at ANOVA is exactly the kind of strategy that, again, is encouraged for doctors uh, with the Affordable Care Act, that doctors really are working a team. Hemogram rates have decreased a little in the past few years, and hopefully with, with health care reform, access will start going yeah. back up. Stage 1 breast cancer, our cure rates are 96, like, yes, 97, 97%. Percent yeah. I mean, they're yeah. high. Whereas when you start to get to stage two, stage three, it, it's a precipitous drop. And so really the key is to, to get these women in and to, and to screen them and to pick things up early. Once early detection is, is established with women, they have the best chance possible to survive. So we really are trying to put that message out there and talk about breast cancer as, a, as something that affects everyone. Medicare now, starting in January of 2011, offers mammograms and other preventive screening techniques with no co-pays and no co-insurance. New health insurance plans will have to provide prevention coverage like mammograms to women with no co-pays or co-insurance. Again, encouraging women to get it. And by 2014, the Affordable Care Act will provide insurance coverage to millions of American women who currently are uninsured. Um, people who may have been uh, kind of missed or fallen through the cracks will now be able to go to a doctor to have treatment and to not have the fear that I've got this diagnosis but how in the world am I going to pay for this? How am I going to be able to get the treatment to help me survive? Allowing patients access to preventative screenings is, is going to make a huge difference in women's lives.